What is earnest money and option fee and when are they due? Your earnest money is a deposit against a purchase contract and your option fee is a fee that you pay in order to be able to terminate the contract during the negotiated option period in order to receive a refund of your earnest money. The earnest money and option fee are due at the time you execute a purchase contract. So you've found a home, you've written an offer, the seller has accepted, and all parties have signed the contract. Your earnest money and option fee is due within a couple of days of executing the contract. Most commonly, I see the earnest money deposit as 1% of the sales price, but it is negotiated on the contract. So if you're in a competitive situation, you may want to offer a little bit higher earnest money deposit in order to make your offer more attractive. The option fee is basically a small fee that you pay in order to have a period of time of due diligence. So during the option period, which is again negotiated on the contract, you can have the property inspected to make sure there's no major issues. The option fee is not refundable. So if you elect to terminate the contract during the negotiated option period, then your earnest money deposit would be refunded, but the option fee is the seller's to keep. Most commonly, I see option fees in the range of $100 to $500, but again, if you're in a competitive situation, one of the things you can do is offer a higher option fee in order to make your offer a little more attractive to the seller. So let's say, for example, that you contract a home for $400,000 and you decide to offer a $4,000, 1% earnest money deposit and a $200 option fee. This means that both the $4,000 earnest money deposit and the $200 option fee would be credited to you at closing against any funds due from you on closing day. So you would need $4,200 less as of your closing day. However, if you determine that you need to terminate the contract during that option period, then your $4,000 earnest money deposit would be refunded to you, but the seller would keep the $200. So keep that in mind when you're deciding how much to offer for both option and earnest money. The earnest and option fee deposits are held at the title company. So you will send the money directly to the title company that's handling your closing, and they will then apply it towards any money that would be due on closing day. Or your lender is going to require that we source those funds. So if you paid a $4,000 earnest money deposit and a $200 option fee, that $4,200 would have to be reflected on the most current bank statement that you provide to the lender. The lender's gonna wanna see the funds coming out of your account and they're going to want to see the balance of your account after those funds are withdrawn. If the earnest money and or the option fee is paid through a gift from a relative or you're paying it out of an account that has not been documented to the lender, then those funds may need to be excluded, meaning they would not show up as a credit on the final closing disclosure, and you would have to wait until the transaction is funded to get those monies refunded to you by the title company. Gift funds are allowed, but you would need to provide the proper paper trail in order for the lender to source that money. If you have more questions anytime, reach out. I'm always happy to help.